So the purpose of this brief recording is just to get you thinking about using ad hoc reporting as a way of maybe introducing some gamification when you first go live with HTM Cloud or maybe when you're rolling out some new capability. Uh, so I'm logged in as Brian here, I'm an employee. We've, say, just gone live with HTM Cloud. If I go into the About Me personal information, then I have access to all of my information, but I also have this extra tab at the bottom here, which is my employee dashboard. And what we've decided to do is to give Brian access to some simple information he can't easily see in other places, some help, contacts. I've also got this thing here because we're the sort of organisation where a lot of our employees like to earn a bit of extra money. So he's able to come in here, say that he wants to earn, for example, an extra £100, and then it will show him how many hours he needs to work, either at standard time and a half or double time. And he can play around with that. So if we're coming up to Christmas and he needs a bit more money, then he can do that and it'll update. Uh, he's also given instant access to his holiday, so how many days has he been given for the year, how many days has he taken and so on. And down here is the employee engagement bit where it shows him whether or not he's been given awards. So what we're trying to do is encourage our employees when we first go live to go in, have a go, try entering a day's holiday, maybe updating their emergency contacts or updating their personal details. And as and when they do that, they'll immediately get awarded a sort of badge to show that they've done that. So as Brian, if I come in, I'm quite keen to get my awards, so I'm going to go into my personal details. I can come in here, I can edit them. Now for the purposes of this, I'm just going to make a quick change. So for example, on my biographical information, I'm just going to update my blood type. Now the change could be anything as long as it triggers a change to the uh, worker information in the ad hoc reporting. So if I just save and close that, really straightforward for Brian, he's come in, it's been really quick, really intuitive. But if he now goes back to his employee dashboard, then you'll see here that he's now been given immediately that badge to tell him that he's updated his personal details. And he could then go through and do the other ones as well, so entering a day's holiday or updating his emergency contacts. Now, from a manager point of view, what then happens is if I log in as Richard McIntyre, as Richard McIntyre, I'm the team manager, so I can come in and have a look at my team. I can go to overview of my team's details. So the nice easy to use cue cards where I can see everything about my team. But what I've also got now is my additional tab, which is my manager's views of whether or not employees are logging in and whether or not they're engaged. So here we can see, even though it's only the first morning of going live, from my 22 people, I've already had Emma and Rosa who are very keen. They've gone in and done things like entered absence, um, updated their emergency contacts. But there's Brian James as well. So immediately from a manager's point of view, uh, I can see what my team are doing and I can introduce, as I say, that simple element of gamification to encourage employees to go in and give things a try. So that shows you how the content can work. Um, it's not intended that you would deploy this exactly the way that it's built for you on Customer Connect. The idea really is just to generate some ideas for you, get you thinking about how and whether you might like to utilise this approach to encourage your employees to get in and get involved when you roll out new capabilities. The next part of the video is going to briefly take you through setting this up, but what I would recommend is once you've set it up is you have a good look at the reports and how they're built so that you understand exactly what's going on. The one thing that this video won't cover is the security access you'll need, so if you are going to roll this out to your employees you'll need to think about how you give them access to the appropriate information within the OTBI subject areas. All of the employee reports do have conditions on them which mean it only return your own record um, but you do need to think through how you would deploy that for your organisation. So let's move on now to looking at how the content is set up. So in terms of setting this content up it's very straightforward. The first thing you need to do is bring in the content into the BI catalogue. So you can see here that I'm within the BI catalogue and you need to utilise the files that are on Customer Connect. So the first archive file needs to go into custom dashboards so if I highlight that folder and on archive the one called hmsuitabs.catalog, say OK to that and it will bring you in a new set of dashboards called hmsuitabs. And then what you also have to do is highlight the custom folder and unarchive the other catalog, which is the report. So that's called engagement.catalog. Now because the reports use some icons, you also need to bring in the images, so make sure you've got show the hidden items checked on and then highlight the images folder and this time rather than archive you need to upload. So click on upload 
and then bring in three different images. Obviously, you could define your own images and just update the reports to use your own images as well. That's not a problem at all. So I've just got one for address changes, one for emergency, and then the one for holidays. Okay, so I've brought my three extra images in, and that's the full extent of what I need to do on the BI side. If you do, do just want to check that the dashboards actually display, then you can always open them. So HTM SUI tabs, and when you open them up, then you should get a tab for the employee awards and then the tab for the manager awards as well. And it should show all the icons. Uh, so that all appears to be working fine. So I've done the stuff on the BI side. And the next bit is I just need to find a home for them within the self-service interface. So where I put them is the employee was on the About Me. So if I come up here, as you can see, I'm already in a sandbox. So if I come up to the navigator, and for me it's under the More option, then here I can go for Tools and Structure. And what I need to do is to scroll down and find that About Me area. So there it is. You can see here if I open it up, then within there is the personal information. So I'm going to choose that button. Okay, so you can see in here the personal information and we've got all of the um, standard tabs. Uh, now down at the bottom here there is an empty tab, so we can add information to that. So I'm going to call it um, employee awards or something like that. I can choose any of the icons I want to from the list that's available. Okay, so I'm going to go for my metal platform, so the one, two, three. Click on OK. And then you can say whether or not it's visible, if it's visible to everyone, if you want to put some expression language in there. So I'm for simplicity sake, so I'm just going to say it's available to everyone. And then I'm going to save and close that. Okay, I also need to find a home for the manager's dashboards as well, so I'm going to put that in my team. So you can see there under my team, now I've already got the extra tab enabled in my environments for my team, so just need to go through and on your environment just do the same thing. Um, so once you've done both of those, then customise the work area pages for those two areas. So if I come into About Me and then choose Personal Information, you can see now that within this I've got the extra tab with the icon that I identified. And it's very straightforward now to add the dashboard to it. I simply go up and choose to customise or personalise the work area pages. I'm going to do it at site level, and then I simply add content. Navigate to the dashboards, and then pick the employee dashboard from within HTM SUI tabs. So here we go, employee awards, click on add, and then close that down. Now once you've done this, you probably just want to resize the screen a little bit, so make sure that that is sized accordingly. So uh, you can drag and drop. You can also then configure the headings on the section. So I don't really want to show employee awards on this, so I'm just going to hide that away. So go to display options. And then I'm not going to display the header and I'm maybe not going to allow resize. As I say, it's up to you how you configure these. And then basically, once you've clicked on OK, that screen will now have that content displayed. And because I made it visible to everyone, that would be for, for all people. And I need to go through and do exactly the same on the team one. So if I come back to the home, if I then go to my team. Now at the moment, as I say, we've already got this tab enabled in our demo environments. It's already got some content in there. So what I'd need to do is to go through and replace the content that's already there with uh, the manager dashboard in exactly the same way you've just seen for the employee. Uh, once you've done that, when you then publish the sandboxes, that gives you the uh, content you need to be able to utilise the employee awards.